Academic Collaborative Center on Public Health. Uh, we focus on researching and understanding the health and well-being of uh, the Dutch population. And in doing this, we work together with five partner organizations, three regional public health services here in the province of Brabant, uh, also with researchers from uh, the National Institute on Public Health and the Environment, the RIVM in Beeldhoven, and with TELOS, which is a, res uh, a research institute that is linked to our university and focuses on uh, sustainable development. Research in youth healthcare helps us to focus on what kind of topics are of importance. So it helps us to see what are trends and uh, which problems are common in uh, nowadays. Socio-economic uh, health differences is a very important uh, subject in our uh, research program. Because we have seen in uh, our Western societies in the past decades that there is a huge gap between uh, health and well-being, between socio-economic groups, um, people from higher socio-economic groups, on average, uh, have a life expectancy that is about seven years longer than those from lower socioeconomic backgrounds. And there are still a lot of research questions that remain to be answered on why those differences exist, how they can be explained, and even more important, what we can do to diminish those differences. Well, we have three uh, main research uh, questions or topics within our uh, academic collaborative centers. The first one is on the health and well-being of uh, people in vulnerable contexts. You can think of uh, young children uh, growing up in families that are under stress because they are single parent families or because they have multiple problems such as financial problems or unemployment or just living in poverty and having to deal with that uh, in everyday life. And the second one is on uh, the healthy living environment. Childhood overweight is a problem in the Netherlands and nowadays one in seven of the Dutch children is overweight. And we see large differences between neighborhoods. And it's my ambition as a researcher, but also as a doctor in youth health care, to uh, reduce socioeconomic health inequalities in children. The healthy environment is an important uh, topic because our social and physical environment, uh, the, the characteristics of our neighborhoods are related to uh, the health and well-being of the people living there. Uh, for instance, uh, the quality of the housing, the number of playgrounds for children, uh, the amount of green spaces, uh, the availability of uh, leisure areas, uh, that all relates to how people feel, uh, how their health and well-being is. And the third one is on uh, healthy lifestyles. Because we have seen in the uh, past decades that chronic diseases are uh, uh, vast and steady uh, increasing in Western societies. A lot of these chronic diseases are related to our uh, unhealthy lifestyle. Because in Western society, uh, in the past years, we have adopted more and more uh, unhealthy lifestyles. Changing one's lifestyle is uh, very difficult. Um, and that also has to do with our environment, our social environment and the society as a whole. Uh, public health policy, uh, uh, regulations and prevention can support people uh, in their everyday life to take on healthier lifestyles. Uh, other examples are uh, research topics about uh, mental health problems in children like depression or child abuse. In youth healthcare, we want to prevent children from diseases and we, uh, tr we try to make uh, a healthy development for children possible for all children. Um, and we follow children from babies till they are young adults. For instance, preventing tobacco use is an important topic during pregnancy, but also in young adults. And nowadays there is a uh, a movement that we call the smoke-free generation that we try to uh, make uh, 
places where children come uh, smoke free, like playgrounds, uh, schools, and also uh, sport clubs. Um, we uh, at the Academic Collaborative Center we have this project. Uh, it's about uh, it's called Not Pregnant Now, and it's about uh, evaluating a local program that aims to prevent uh, unintended and unwanted pregnancies among women in vulnerable uh, circumstances and their partners. Uh, the program is about having an open conversation on the desire to have children, uh, sexuality and also contraception. And the idea of this program is that within those regular uh, meetings, they now start also talking about um, the desire to have children, um, sexuality and contraception. And one of the potential outcomes is that these women uh, start contraception, uh, but it's not necessarily the main outcome. And uh, the program started uh, within the uh, uh, regional health service region of Hartvoort Brabant, here in Tilburg. And the aim of our program is to evaluate this uh, program.